Hi, welcome to this figure drawing video. I know at least one of you might be wondering like, hey Weecha, didn't you go to Japan for like a month and didn't you say that like Japan vlog and Japan, Japan content was coming? Yes, it's coming. Um, this week, honestly, this video is just to buy myself time because I don't have time to edit that whole thing and make it good and I don't wanna rush myself on it. So this week we're doing figure drawing. Not that that's a bad thing. Um, I mean, I love figure drawing, we all know this. It's a good thing to practice. So um, I pulled a bunch of reference images. So we're gonna be doing three figure drawings at one minute, two figure drawings at five minutes, and then one at 10 minutes. So six figures total. Uh, if you wanna grab your sketchbook and pencil and eraser or whatever drawing tools you prefer, I'm gonna be doing these in real time and try to like talk through my process as I do them. So if you wanna follow along and join me in, in this little figure drawing sesh, I would be more than happy to have you. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop right the fuck into this bitch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so to get started, yeah, like I said, we're gonna start with the one minute poses first. I have three of them. Um, so we're gonna start with this person here. A uh, bit of a nice pose, you know, seated. They have like a nice kind of slouch going on-ish and there's like nice movement in the, the folds of the t-shirt. So that might be fun. Let me get a timer going and then we'll begin. Are you guys ready? Do you have your sketchbook? Do you have your pencil? <laughs> Okay, so I have my timer. I'm gonna keep an eye on the clock or I'll like put it somewhere while we go so you guys can, you know, keep an eye on it as well. Um, let's get started. I'm a little nervous. I haven't done time drawings in a long time. One minute is pretty fast, hey? Okay, ready? Okay, go. Oh, okay, hold on, sorry, fuck. Okay, go. Okay, we're going. Okay, so, uh, God, it's gonna be so hard to like, do this while talking at the same time. So yeah, I don't know when I'm when I'm doing figure drawing, especially like quick stuff and just trying trying to get the gesture down. Um, I'm just like looking at the general shapes of the body and um, zooming into details with my brain while still like trying to see the entire shape of the body, um, like using my peripheral, if that makes any sense. Um, okay, it is super hard to talk while doing this. Got some shorts, legs. I also made him too big, so he's- Okay, that was a minute! What? Girl. <laughs> Um, okay, we're gonna try that again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> if you wanna try it again with me, you are more than welcome. I didn't know a minute was that fast. Fuck, okay, so we can't really add detail for a minute. Now we know. Let's try that again. That was just a practice run. Okay, so one minute is pretty quick. Okay, reset. Everybody ready? <laughs> okay. One minute, let's go. Okay, ready and go. Okay, so we literally have no fucking time at all. Let me just, oh fuck, why am I focusing on the details for what? Okay, we're trying to do figure here. So why am I focusing on the face? That's, God, this is a dumpster fire already. Arm out like this, and we got like this. Is that helpful that I just am giving sound effects to my fucking, uh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Okay, legs, go legs. Boom. Oh my God. When did figure drawing become so hard? One minute is way two. Short, seven seconds. Ah, what do I even do in that? Okay, I mean, fucking hell. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Thanks, okay, gotcha. So, 
What do we think? That was pretty good. <laughs> Dude, oops. One minute is very quick. All right, you know what? I'll just, I know this is cheating, but who cares? Just fill in some whatever and give him a, some shadows and there we go. Great. I cannot help myself. I'm sorry. Okay, whatever. Moving on. <laughs> Alrighty, so next we have this cute little kid on a scooter looking very fast. <laughs> Same kind of deal here. One minute. It's gonna go like fucking this. Um, I guess if I have any tips, I would say to like kind of look at it first, um, kind of study the silhouette. So I would say like the the body in general has a bit of a like arrow shape to it, like a one of these, if that makes sense. Like it's um, it's like an angle, right? And then the scooter is just like a thing. If you want to, you don't have to do the scooter at all. I don't even know if I'm gonna have time for that, but um, yeah, that's my tip before we begin. Look at the silhouette, kind of get it down in your mind, and then maybe we should try like putting that down on paper first and then doing the details. Like I hope nobody was coming into this like, oh, I'm gonna learn how to figure draw today. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, sorry. We're just, we're just winging it. All right. Okay, everybody ready? <laughs> Look at the silhouette. Um, and do your best. No big deal. It's one minute. Okay, ready? And go. So, yeah, like I said, boom, boom. Here's the, and then the legs. Oh, Lord. I hate anything to do with, like, timers and time. I don't know why the fuck I'm doing this to myself right now. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea for a video. Um, <laughs> hair. Oh my god. Okay, scooter. Let's go. Boo, boo, boo. Boo, boo, boo. Oh my god, I didn't click the... I didn't start the timer. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna finish the drawing. <laughs> Editing me, can we please put a timer in the corner for the good people of the internet? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. This is a mess. That's okay. We're having fun, aren't we? Boom, scooter. Boom. Fast as fuck, we. I can't even remember if I had a scooter growing up. I think I had like a, like one of those plastic like pink ones. It wasn't an actual scooter. It was like a like a legitimate like child thing. Um, <sighs> this is way over a minute. I know it, um, but I'm just gonna you know kind of go with it. Yeah, fast gestures are kind of not it for me. Like one minute, not enough time. Low key. So, there we go. Whatever. <laughs> There's my boy on a scooter in exactly one minute. Okay. Moving on. And then in your sketchbook, if you wanna like write down the time beside each one. So then if you like look back at your sketchbook or somebody else looks in your sketchbook and then sees these like shitty scribbles everywhere and they're like, what the fuck is this? Then they know. One fucking minute. It's not a lot of time. Okay. Okay, our final one minute reference is this person here. Um, so yeah, this incorporates a bit of movement. Um, they're carrying some boxes. So that's an added extra level of difficulty. I, I was not thinking about how little time one minute is truly while I was picking these these references. So we're just gonna go with it once again. And I'm gonna make sure that I actually click start this time on the timer. Okay, is everybody ready? This is the last one minute one. And then we can start like doing some more like 
you know, detail and having a little extra time to do that, hopefully. Okay, everybody ready? And go. Okay, head, boom, boom. Got some ponytail action, blah, 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 blah. Do we like my sound effects? Um, the arm comes here. Hand is like that. Jacket is back here. Okay. Leg going forward like that, then back. Bunch of folds and stuff. Foot. Okay. Boxes now. Ah, this is not correct, but that's okay. 10 seconds, guys. Oh my lord. Woohoo. Awesome. <laughs> okay. So, not bad. I feel like that, you know, I don't know, at least for me, hopefully you guys agree. Um, that being the third one, I feel like you you start to understand, okay, I have one minute, so I gotta like prioritize certain things. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like when things are, when you're like putting down a gesture that's as quick as that, um, maybe it's like helpful to, I don't know. I was thinking about this when I was doing the legs. I was thinking like, so the front leg is kind of like a curve this way and then so is the back leg. Um, and the front leg is like pretty uh, a lot shorter than the, the, the back leg. So I was thinking about that when I was doing that. I don't know. And then just motion lines for for clothing lines and stuff like that. Okay, that was stressful. I'm like legitimately sweating. Um, but now let's get into some five minute uh, drawings instead. I feel like this is gonna be gonna end up being um, a lot faster than I think it's gonna be again, but we shall see. I'll try and keep an eye on the clock so I don't like end up surprising myself again. <clears throat> All right. How do we feel? Everybody, everybody take a breath. Take a second. That was stressful. Okay. Now we have five minutes. Um, I chose this uh, feller um, having a seat. I love older faces. They're very fun to draw. So I put this one in the five minute reference group uh, because I wanted to be able to have time to like draw out um, his features and stuff. So everybody ready? Feel good? Without further ado? Okay, five minutes, so let's breathe. We can calm down. Okay, ready? And go. Um, so yeah, we have a bit more time, so I'm gonna focus a bit more on like the, the actual shapes of this dude's features. The collar comes down pretty steep. And then the back is pretty hunched. Some nice billowy folds in the uh, sleeve. Yeah, I'm just trying to go in like pretty light and pretty quick, at least to just like build out the forms and then I'll check on how much time I have later um, to put in some detail. And I'm realizing that I'm running out of fucking space, <clears throat> which is very fun. So I'm not even gonna get his full body, but that's okay. Oh, but the legs are so fun. I wish I could fit them in. Okay, we're at 3.30. 3.30. Oh, 
3.30 left. Um, yeah, this is a lot of pressure. <laughs> I feel like I did, I did so much figure drawing when I was in um, Japan because literally everywhere I went, um, that was like all I could do, especially when I was alone, I would like go somewhere and like, mm, what should I do? I guess I'll draw. And so yeah, I, like I would sit and then draw and then like look at what I drew and then I was like, hmm, I'm pretty good at this. And then so like trying to do my planning to do this figure drawing video, I was like, yeah, I'm good at, I'm really good at doing figure drawing right now. So this will be great. No problem at all, but this like added layer of pressure with the time is not it for me. <laughs> um, yeah, what was I saying before? I like, I, I can't stand anything like with a very uh, intense time constraint, like even video games, whenever there's like a timed challenge or like some sort of race or something in the game, I just like freak out and I like, I don't know, it's very stressful for me to do things like that, especially in a video game when I'm like, like I'm supposed to be having fun. I don't want to be stressed while I play this fucking video game. I don't know, it's not, it's not fun to me, it's stressful. So yeah, I feel like I'm learning a lot right now about myself and what I like. Okay, I'm gonna add some shadowing behind this dude. Okay, we have a minute and 30 left. I feel like, okay, this is probably gonna be a lot worse than the next one that I do because I feel like I rushed into it. Um, I underestimated how much time five minutes was just because one minute was like no fucking time at all. And so I rushed when I was building out um, the silhouette and the body and the shapes and everything. Like it, it looks fine, I guess, but um, I could definitely, like now I feel like I have so much time and I'm just fucking like adding shadows that, you know, I could have been spending earlier building out um, the shapes of the body more accurately. So now I know, we'll take that into the next one. Figure drawing, especially, you know, timed figure drawing is all about being messy, making mistakes, and learning it, and then moving on to the next one. Um, it's just really like a metaphor for life and all art that you make, right? Not everything can be perfect. And you learn something from every piece that you make, whether you like it or not, or whether it, it ends up being good or not. Give him a little shadow there. All right. Okay, thank you, timer. Okay, I feel like, yes. So like I said, this is much more time. I feel like we know that now. That being said and known now, let's move on. Okay, so this next one is a little bit more challenging, I think. Um, I put it second just because, you know, now we're more comfortable with the five minute mark, which I think will be good. Um, so yeah, as you can see, this person is hunched over, kind of compact and more compressed, um, which sometimes for me, at least, I feel like when I was like more of in a learning stage of getting comfortable with figure drawing, um, poses like this felt a little bit more intimidating, a little bit more difficult. So, yeah, same kind of deal. I feel like we can see how his body makes like a bit of a triangle shape. So kind of focus on that, I guess. Um, and then, yeah, silhouette first, get down the bigger shapes and then get granular um, as time passes again. Now we know five minutes is plenty of time. So I guess spend a little bit more time on 
the building of the shapes if you didn't in the in the last one like me. Okay. Okay, ready and go. Okay, so do 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 try to not make him too big again this time. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like when, at least when I'm like slowing down and just like drawing normally, my building of shapes is very like, um, like I said before, very light and I'm not really trying to like focus on curves or anything at this point just building out the shapes with like very quick um strokes and placing things where i feel like they need to be placed um i feel like when you're building out certain things or i don't know looking at where things need to go it's really important to like look at where things are in relation to other things in the drawing that you already have down. Um, trying to think of an example as I go here. Like for example, so the bottom of his bum is the same as it lines up with the bottom of the shoe. I went a little bit too low on the shoe end, but we'll try and fix that. Um, so you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> you have to like create anchor points for yourself um, that you already have down in the drawing to know where to place other things in the drawing. If that makes any fucking sense at all. We're down to three minutes, just under three minutes. Um, and yeah, I feel like when I'm freaking out because of the time constraints, I tend to go like harder with my pencil, but now that I'm calmed down and know that I have a bit more time, um, I started out much lighter. So that helps a lot, I think. Mm -hmm. A bit of a beard, kind of, yes, that is a beard. Okay, two minutes, just under two minutes. I feel like I spent too much time um, detailing his face and now I gotta kinda pick it up. For the rest, if I can, let's add some quick folds. Folds are something that you just get used to as you draw more. Um, it helps to think of just like physics, you know, like there's tension under his arms or like when you're wearing clothes, you know where tension is felt um, depending on how you're posed or in this case how this person is seated, if you can imagine sitting this way yourself, um, then that's helpful in thinking about where on your clothing feels tighter and where feels a little more loose. Okay, under a minute now. Um, what did I do here? Do. And hands are just fine being blobs in times like this. <laughs> Ten seconds, guys. Um, I'll just add a few more. Okay, 
Okay, that felt better. I feel like that was a lot smoother for me. Um, hopefully it was for you as well. Wow, we're already on our last uh, last one. How do we feel, you guys? Are we feeling ready for the big 10 minute? Because it's time. I know we didn't get much practice, but I feel like, you know, keep in mind, okay, one minute to five minutes was a lot. So we're getting literally double what we had just then. So we have a lot of time. So really try to, I don't know, take this time of me adding these further details <laughs> to reset and take a breath and remind yourself that you're doing fine and everything is great. And we have 10 whole minutes for the next one. So we can kind of chill and figure things out. I will try and remind myself of that as we move on to the next one. And I will try to speak a little bit more um, towards my process. Let's all just blah, 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 shake it out. I picked a cool one for the 10 minute. I like it. Um, it's a bit of a more challenging pose again. Um, they're seated and also there's some foreshortening happening. Um, a lot of interesting like folds and I feel like the pose is very dynamic and I don't know, the way that the legs are splayed out and the angle of the arm and everything I think will be cool. So yeah, going into this again, let's focus on first taking it super slow. We have 10 minutes, which is a lot of time now. Um, we have 10 minutes to go into this whole thing. So maybe let's try and like spend the first like at least three minutes putting down the shapes and then we still have seven minutes to add detail. That's like more than enough. I would say maybe even like three to five minutes to like get down the shapes, whatever your, you know, level is or whatever you're comfortable with. But let's just hop right into it. Everybody feel good? Gonna start the timer? Ready and go. 10 minute pose, baby. Okay, so like I said, let's go in super slow. Super light with my first few strokes here, get the shape of the hair down because the hair itself takes up a good amount of space and it has like a bit of a interesting shape on its own. And then the arm comes down and across and is here. wrist. Okay, I'm gonna push the shoulder out a bit more. Um, for the shape of like the head to the elbow, try and look at like the top of the head to the bottom of the elbow and like how far that goes and um, what angle it comes out at and stuff like that. If that makes any sense. Wearing a turtleneck, very cool. The hand comes up. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, okay, so I think I may have done this too far out actually. So it comes down more like that. And then this splays out back here. And the legs come out. Here's the knee. Foreshortening is hard. Don't beat yourself up if it doesn't look exactly right or exactly like the photo. Just kind of improvise. Again, feel free to um, erase if you need to. We still have eight minutes pretty much, so tons of time. Okay, so I made her a little bit too big so her legs are gonna come off the page, which is unfortunates, unfortunates, but fuck it, we ball. Okay. 
other leg comes out more of like an angle this way. Maybe I can get some foot in there. Some foot action, if you will. <laughs> Not like that. Um, yeah, so I don't know, for like the leg folds and stuff, these are like some of my favorite folds to draw. Top 10 folds of all time are from like the knee down to the bottom of the pant because I feel like the knee is such a, you know, protruding part of the body that like the, that kind of drapery effect is always very similar or very easy to figure out depending on the pose, because you just basically have to go to where the knee is and then psh, out towards the bottom. Okay, so my person is a little, seated a little wider than what they are in the, the photo, but that's okay. That is okay. Okay, so I'm happy with my shapes. I'm gonna go in in detail now. Six minutes. A bit of wave in the hair. Detailing, like once you have the shapes down, like spending that time getting the structure down in the um, first part of the figure drawing. Um, once that's down, like adding the details feels so much more low pressure, I guess. Because you don't really have to pay attention to, I don't know, if things are where they're supposed to be or whatever, because you've already done that. So you can kind of just like scribble and whatever for the rest of it. So. Maybe my favorite part of figure drawing, or actually, I don't know, the whole process is pretty cool. Like getting the structure down is very satisfying and then the feeling of getting to like figure out the rest with ease and add the details in. Um, is a nice feeling. We still have four and a half minutes. Still no real rush. Hope everybody's vibing. Hope you're having a good day today. Um, it's Sunday when I'm filming this, so it's been a very chill day for me. Which is lovely. So into the folds in her shirt. Oof. I'm sorry, I'm drinking um sparkling water, so it's making me a little burpy. My bad. Um, but yeah, figure drawing. I feel like I've said this in some other video. I remember saying it at some point, but it's super important to look at your subject a lot. Like you shouldn't look down at your page for too long, especially in the structure building part, the beginning part because when you do that and you're not looking at your subject, you're drawing what you think the subject look, looks like rather than looking up lots and like actually checking and comparing with what you have on the paper. And so, I don't know, every figure drawing teacher has always emphasized to me the importance of um, looking at your subject and looking at it a lot to make sure that 
what you're doing on your page is not just what you think is right. It's what is in front of you and is being confirmed every time you look up. Two minutes, still a good amount of time, still way more time than we had on the first few. <laughs> still recovering from that. Okay, and then shoes. Shoes are hard. I feel like I only recently kind of started getting the hang of it and I'm still like not entirely comfy with them. Um, what I tend to do is I like look at the shape of the sole and kind of understand what that is. And then once you have like, I don't know, the sole down, especially if like the shoe is pointing up, you can kind of understand like at what angle the foot is. And then you just kind of got to draw like a little whoop on top for the actual foot part. Um, yeah, I don't know, shoes are hard. It's, it's a learning process. Hands and feet are not easy for anyone, I'm pretty sure. So. Okay, on our last minute, so put on your final touches, add in any little bits of shading or whatever, wherever you feel is good. Darken your lines maybe wherever to add interest where you feel like you need it. And about 10 seconds. Take a look. Are we happy? Of course we are. We did it. Oh. And there you have it, folks. Ta-da! I hope my head wasn't blocking as I was... Fuck, maybe it was. Okay. Hopefully you could see what I was doing, but... Um, yeah, there it is. What do we think? I liked the 10-minute one the best. I'm a slow... I'm a slow girly. I like taking my time on things for the most part, um, I guess for figure drawing in, in particular. So that was like a nice kind of, I don't know, exercise and a good ramping up from the one minute one to the 10 minute one. What a difference time makes, honestly. Hope you guys got something out of that. If anything, uh, just a little nice figure drawing sesh with a buddy. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm working on the, the Japan vlog and I don't know if it's, it's not going to be the next video either because I have a vlog that's going to come out. Um, so maybe the following week, but still no promises because it's going to be a massive video. I have so much footage and I just want to, you know, have it be good, take my time, enjoy, you know, making it and whatever. So yes, please look forward to it. It is coming eventually, I promise you that much. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for joining me. I hope that was fun. I hope it was helpful or whatever, whatever. And I will see you guys in a bit.